Let's work. All right, y'all, so just a closer look of the uh, Valley Pan cover here. So this is an ICT Billet brand, just straight aluminum color with the ICT logo on it. And I got it installed real quick. I The reason I have one bolt here is because, look at this. So look at this one. They're Allen head ends and then look at that one looked like it went it didn't get drilled through all the way or something so unfortunately i am unable to install this uh fully but i'm probably just going to see if i have an extra one something like this laying around or i'm gonna have to go to like ace or something like that ace usually carries a lot of different varieties of bolts and so i bet you they have something like this so i'll probably just go check them out there's an ace right down the street for me but looking pretty good y'all i really like that versus the uh the black valley pan color that i had over that right there and i think with the setup that i am using it does not require me to use the knock sensors which are right here and here so that's why i went with this it was only like 38 bucks and I've been kind of just debating on getting it. So that's what it looks like right there. Uh, now I can go ahead and install my intake, which is right here. Dual uh, plan intake. And I have a, what's that called? A one inch spacer here. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is take off all this tape that's covering the uh, intake ports here. And then get to uh, installing the intake. So stay tuned and let's get to work. All right, so what I'm doing here is this is my, if you guys didn't know, I have this intake by Holly. It's designed to fit a carburetor or a throttle body, throttle body style TBI setup. And again, I wanted to go with this style setup just because I'm trying to make it look old school, as I've mentioned and many times before. But uh, if you can see here, what I'm doing is putting these little gaskets around the intake ports. And that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to make sure they've been sitting flush and they're all evened out and everything and they uh, feel pretty good. So I left one out just to show you kind of what it looks like before and after. So this is a dual plane one. And the reason why I got dual plane is from all my research, these run and have a little bit better street manners and they run a little bit more efficient for the street, get better gas mileage, whatnot. And you don't sacrifice a whole lot of low end torque, I believe with these. So that's why I went with a dual plane setup. I also have a one inch spacer coming. And the reason why I got a one inch spacer because the taller that the, that the TBI setup sits, it allows the fuel to kind of itemize a little bit better before it actually hits the ports and distributes out. So that's why I went with that. Also, it has a notch in the center here of the, of the spacer. And the reason why I wanted to have that is because the sensor on the the uh, TBI setup, uh, what is it? The map sensor. If you don't have that 
notched out a little bit. They make intakes like this as well, where that well, it's notched out here in the center part of the uh, divider. But the reason why is because it will get a false reading and it won't. It'll basically make the car run kind of crappy. So the reason why I went with that is because of that reason. So just that way the sensor can read both banks instead of one. So oh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, when it comes but yeah man this is it this is the color scheme that i went with and everything so i'm going to finish putting this last o-ring on here and then install it in so i can give you guys a better look of what it looks like also now i got the intake on and it's looking good on there y'all now i'm just going over and basically torquing them all down just basically doing like a double triple check on them i already went over them twice so now I'm just going to do one last time. You kind of do this in like a crisscross-ish pattern, so to speak. Kind of hitting every single one in that order. So, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. But there is actually a, a manual right here that kind of tells you. And I kind of just didn't follow it. But uh, here it is right here. So... Basically, you go one, two, three, four, kind of like a cross, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I already torqued them all down. I'm basically just kind of just going all over them, just making sure they're all pretty snug. They only need to be down about 108 inch pounds, I believe. I probably went a little bit more, but every time I went to tighten them, one would loosen. And it's probably because it's new and the gaskets are new and everything. So when I went to tighten them all down, each one would be loose again. So I think it's kind of settling in and getting to where it's supposed to be permanently. And now they're kind of all snug. So this is what it looks like on here, y'all. And I, I pretty much got it all done for the most part, at least for the night. Tomorrow is my birthday. So my girl's actually making me some dinner tonight because tomorrow night I got to work. Well, we both got to work. So I'm just trying to get as much as I can done on it right now. What I'll probably do is stick the throttle body on there just so I can see kind of what it looks like on. And shoot, man, it's coming together, y'all. It is coming together. I think it looks pretty dang slick on there. Just let me know what you guys think. Get in the comments for me. Let me know what you guys think on this. And whoo, it's coming along, y'all. It's coming along. So what I'm probably going to do is just put the, just set the throttle body on it just to kind of see what it's going to look like. And then... Just probably call it a night, so I'll be right back. And there she go. So this is basically just about the look that I'm going for so you guys can kind of get a visual of it all. It'll sit about one inch higher when I have my spacer in there. But man, it's so awesome to see this thing come together. And woo wee looking good. Now these, uh, this actually supports about up to 600 horsepower. And that'll be plenty for me. I won't be putting out that much with this motor. Ah, uh, shoot, I don't even know how much the motor is going to put out, honestly. We'll see. You know, I upgraded the cam and I got better. Uh, I ended up getting the better pistons with this particular setup. So, and some other things. So, we'll see. I don't know. 
I'd be happy. <sighs> Man, I'd be happy if this thing pushed 350 to 400. No, honestly, I mean, I don't know. 400 would be would be awesome. I don't know if it would get that. Who knows? But we we shall see. But man, y'all, it is looking good. So there she go. Installing the Holly EFI setup is going to be next. And stay tuned for that, y'all. I gave you kind of a sneak peek of the box. And this is what the, the TBI throttle body setup looks like. And it is about to be on. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of the build so far. You can kind of see my vision. It is coming together. And man, it is la ha of a lee. All right. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out, y'all. Again, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm going to be 41. Man, 41. My last day at 40. Tomorrow, 41. And shoot, man. It's going down. All right. I'll holla at y'all later. Deuces. Peace out.